So I say that nothing is so horrible in the world but that it is counting coup, though it must continually fight what is divine in the mind of the Son of Man. It is largely counting coup and drinking the blood of the Son of Man on a daily basis. Quick, you know, day at a glance. What I am advising is that the Son of Man be better represented to the world and that I don't have to leave any particular book for my followers, quote-unquote, if I were to start a religion worthy of the name. So sonorous are such ideas when a man begins to practice of giving voice to the sonorous and celestial music of nature in places such as these. Right? The power of just saying, I welcome in what nourishes the esoteric power of the Son of Man in casting circles and doing the things that I have. It's just something that you'll do yourself if you want to. And what I would say is, I don't need to leave a treatise. I say it's to everyone to leave the voice of what they define the Son of Man to be, because that's what the Son of Man does. It defines itself. It gives power to what you tell it to. It, it, it allows you to define power for yourself. That's what the Son of Man does. And the more people do that, the more the Son of Man will be represented in the world, and the more the Son of Man is represented in the world by those people who decide to choose themselves to do that, uh, or to let the Son of Man draw them forth in that activity, to include that activity perhaps among the activities of all mankind, in so much as the prayers of all living being and every being, however evil, has a significance in the whole process of life, all of whose prayers are sent up in the smoke of the medicine pipe to Solilo, to the Son of Man, the Son of Man who hears all voices. So, would you like to sit in front of the Son of Man and tell the Son of Man how to be, even though the Son of Man be so poorly represented in the world? And I say, probably not. Probably you just want to do what the Son of Man would have you do so that you can feel good in life and leave you to define what that is to you, to define what the Son of Man is to you, that no man should tell another man what the Son of Man should be. That's what I would say. And you know it's something seriously wrong when anyone is telling someone else, let alone the Son of Man, what it should be. And think of all that is claimed about the Son of Man, and all that you are told about what the Son of Man should be. And I say fuck off to all of that. For the very fact that they're telling you what it is gives you some idea of what, how full of shit they are. And let it be known that only a man who defines for himself what the Son of Man is and suffers no man to tell him how anyone should make meaning in their own mind, so are celestial or the most primal and unhindered and uninhibited forces of all that, that we fear and all that we love and all that we seek through all of real and imagined boundaries that lay before us the greatest liberty. And especially if you are among those who have found a way to uh, uh, recuse yourself from a very demanding cultishness to the world at large and the evil at large, which is considerable, confronting which we find ourselves confronted with opportunities that we might otherwise never have found, which include giving voice and definition to the Son of Man as an entire practice to leave for our children, a business much more worthy than what most people call the busyness of life. <laughs>